have noticed that today we are going to speak about contemporary music and actually we would like to focus on one specific composer, Ryohai Hirose. Why is it so fantastic to play contemporary music? When I was 15 years old, I started off with the piece Music for a Bird by Hans Martin Linde, like many other recorder players. And I had a little bit of a struggle with it. I didn't quite understand what a musical language was, but eventually I learned a lot from this process. And then the second piece I played was Meditation by Hirose. And this was the first piece for me to really appreciate contemporary music. And why is this? Well, I think it is because this, the music by Hirose is based upon traditional uh, Japanese music and also on a traditional Japanese instrument, namely the shakuhachi, a bamboo flute. Because it is based on traditional elements, the music sounds lyrical, accessible, it sounds beautiful, but also extreme in many ways. And therefore the music by Hirose is a very good starting point to get to know the musical language of contemporary music and to appreciate it. What is, uh, first of all, really, really special about contemporary music? Well, the fact that never before in history had we had complete freedom to do anything we want with music. And in the beginning of the 20th century, it happened that art and music in particular broke from any rules that had previously been established. You can make music with concrete sounds or with very deep structures, anything is allowed. And this is the great power of contemporary music. You can set your own rules as a composer, as a performer, you are not bound to one style. So therefore to play contemporary music, we also need other skills that we usually don't need for historical repertoire because we have the possibility to seek our own boundaries and the boundaries of music itself. Good contemporary music is not ugly at all. It should be fascinating and interesting to listen to and therefore beautiful. Moreover, it's literally a lot of fun to express yourself through contemporary music and it also helps you to look with a different angle to other music styles. So let's get started with a group's exercise in which we can all explore what kind of effects and tools we have to make contemporary music. The game is as follows. We are going to all sit in a circle and everybody gets five seconds to portrait one keyword with any sounds that they are free to choose. Okay, so you can play a melody, you can play with sound effects in the instrument, out of the instrument, use your body free to do whatever you want for five seconds. The first word we are going to express is contemplative. So take a few seconds to think about how you could play music that sounds contemplative in five seconds and then we start the exercise. Make sure you are finding your own way and the more variety we have within the group, the better. This was an improvisation exercise, but you can also apply the same principle of keywords or images when you are playing actual pieces. Today we are going to show you some examples based on a composition by Hirose called Aki for two recorders. 
and this piece starts with a very beautiful solo for the alto recorder and I'm going to ask Hester, could you play the first phrase of your solo having in mind the keyword peaceful? For a last keyword, actually we can use the title of the piece itself, which is Aki. In Japanese that means autumn. So if you think of the autumn, how would you play this beginning? to the third section of this piece where the duet starts and we play a, a short fragment and at first we want to play it as neutral as possible. on the main features of the notation of the piece. So you will see that we have actually free timing, there is no time signature, so we determine ourselves the length of the notes, but what is very clear is the order of events in the music. You also sometimes see that uh, notes are closer together and sometimes they are farther away, so that gives you an idea of the timing. And finally, we have quite detailed phrasings and also dynamics, which for sure we should follow. So what can be the next step uh, of playing this fragment to improve things? Well, you see that uh, each line has two appoggiaturas. What about we vary the length or the timing of these appoggiaturas? Let's play one very slow and another one very fast. can be the next step. I think what we could integrate a bit more is more extreme dynamics, so by using alternative fingerings, which we have spoken about, or by shading some notes to make them louder. Let's see if we can play with dynamics a bit more. Still more to improve? Yes, I think so. Uh, for example, if you look at the pitches that are the same within this fragment, we can uh, vary the length of those and consciously choose a type of vibrato for each of them and we can also vary the color of those. Now let's move on to another fragment with different material. As you see, uh, we have groups of sixteenths notated in a sort of triangle, meaning that they belong together and that they have a certain focus point, but that they also can be played a bit free. And we see staccato notes with accents on them, and we see glissandi in the first line upwards, and we see a sputato high D in the second line. first thing we can improve or take more advantage of are the series of accents on the different 16 notes. 
Maybe you can try once to give them a certain direction so every accent is more intense than the previous. Maybe, Hester, could you pay attention to your glissandi upwards, stretch the timing a bit more at the beginning maybe, and, and play a bit more with it and with the dynamics. It could be really exciting. Yes, I can do that. And Maria, can you please uh, focus on the last accentuated sixteenths and make the accents bigger and bigger each time so that you really raise a lot of expectations of what comes next? today we hope to motivate you and encourage you to try out some contemporary music with your consorts and particularly the works by Hirose. Hirose wrote many ensemble pieces for two, three, four, five and even seven players. Uh, what do you think for example about Sweet for Noble Cats for five players or Lamentation? for four players or ideal two for seven players. Check it out! The music we presented today had a strong influence from the Japanese bamboo flute or shakuhachi. So today we would like to present you a brilliant shakuhachi player from the Netherlands where we are. He is also a modern flute professor at the Amsterdam Conservatoire and his name is Harry Starrefeld. The shakuhachi looks like a recorder without a head joint and then from the material of bamboo. As you can imagine, without the wind channel, it's very hard to play. It is said that the sound of these instruments can capture the whole scope of life. And its stunning traditional repertoire reveals all voices of nature. Enjoy! Don't forget to subscribe! And if you have questions or comments for us... Contact, contact us here. here! See you next time! Bye bye!